ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk, brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of the vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels, raise the rear of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Loosen the brake caliper. Using a 14mm spanner, unscrew the lower caliper mounting bolt. Then remove it. Then, using the same tool, unscrew the upper caliper mounting bolt. The upper caliper mounting bolt is blocked by the brake hose. To access it, lift the caliper slightly, then remove the caliper mounting bolt and the caliper. Remove the caliper. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a 17mm spanner, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush and once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe. You will find the bulk, parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take your new brake rotor. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc in place. Remove the rubber cap from the old disc. And fit it onto the new one. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing it by hand to begin with. And finish with a socket wrench and a 17mm socket to fix it completely. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease.
and slide them into the brake caliper mount. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool.